Thank you. Konnichiwa. Hello, everybody. My name is Mori. Well, this is going. We actually invented a very interesting farming technology. Instead of soil, we use this this film. This is not a cooking wrap, by the way. This is something that we developed. And on top of this film, we can grow a lot of things. Like, for example, let me show you this. This is the. I took uh, quite a long time. It took uh, quite a long time to um, to move this to here by car, so it might be a little uh, bit. But you can see it's stuck to the film. And let's look at the back side of the film. So you can see that the roots are stuck into the uh, surface of the film. It's not it actually clinging inside the film, but it's actually sort of stuck to the surface of the film. And let's put it upside down. So we uh, can use this film and uh, transfer this from one point to other point. Um, this is the bag made of that film. And in there, there is a nutrient medium, liquid nutrient medium. We put some seeds in there, and we grew this plant. We grew this vegetable. Last year, uh, the Japanese astronaut, Mr. Noguchi, took it to the spaceship, and he uh, collaborated in this uh, experiment. And he actually grew some herb. And it was a non-gravity uh, area, so you don't even have to hold it. It just floats about. So he said it was a very healing experience. And this technology can actually be utilized for the lands that was affected by March 11th, because the soil there in the affected area is quite uh, contaminated, and and that's uh, there is an expectation for it, and we're working working hard for it. So how can we grow lettuce on this film? Let me show you. First of all, let, let's think of this as a soil. This, let's think of this as a ground, and on top of the ground. This is this is a film that does not let through anything. It's very strong. And we put this over the ground, over the soil. And here is a tube with some holes, small holes. And we can put some uh, liquid nutrient medium. And the medium will come out gradually, little by little. And we put a sheet of felt over it, over the tube, evenly. And on top of that, we put this film. And you can grow lettuce or tomato. These, you can put the seeds, and eventually you'll get this. It's a very simple technology. And what is most important about this, fil uh, this technology is this film. This film is made up of hydrogel. Hydrogel is used in diapers, baby's diapers. So it can absorb water and nutri nutri nutrition uh, quite a lot. However, it does uh, it absorbs on one side, but on the other side, it is completely dry. So it doesn't let any water uh, on the other side. So when the plants are grown on the uh, dry uh, area, dry film. They can't survive. So what they do is they try to uh, stuck their roots to the film, and they desperately try to absorb water. It's the same as human being. If you work hard, if you study hard, you get uh, it, you'll be good. And so it's uh, you can get uh, a lot of nutrition by doing this film farming. And the tomatoes are very were very sweet when I first ate it, and it was completely uh, something unexpected. The other thing about this film looks like it doesn't have any holes, but it actually has nano size holes, numerous numbers of holes. And this control of this nano size is really difficult. However, we uh, fortunately succeeded in, in that. And uh, it can, so it can absorb the water and nutrition, but it does not let through the germs and bacteria because they are large. 
So uh, the plants do not get sick. So you don't need agrochemicals in order to grow um, plants and vegetables. And what you're worried about is whether the uh, vegetables are safe, uh, whether they are nutri uh, nutritious. So by using this film, we can grow vegetables that is ideal for you. So let me show you some slides. Um, oh, do you have this? That's an animation, animated picture. Um, and in 20 institutions, we make tomato using this film. And this is a large farm of one hectare. And uh, tomatoes are growing to this size. And there are 80,000 tomatoes yellow ones and red ones. And they are just fruiting all over. And this is called a tsukuba farm. And their products are being sold in supermarkets and uh, being sold online. And they are getting uh, popular and well accepted. So we can even make grow uh, large tomatoes like this. I would have wanted you to eat it because it's really sweet. And this is a uh, melon. This, is, this has just been uh, uh, cropped. Um, this has just been made. Um, and other than that, you can grow strawberries, paprika, cucumbers, lettuce. Almost any vegetables can be grown on this film. Something else about this technology is this sheet does not let anything come through. And we put this on the ground first. So even if the ground is contaminated or is it, uh, if, if it has salt or oil or uh, um, some heavy metals, um, it does not absorb anything. So you can grow vegetables uh, that are safe and in a stable production. And of course, it can, you can put it over sand or you can put it over concrete after the factory is uh, broken down. Or you can put it on tundra in uh, Siberia. And we actually uh, try to grow tomato in desert. Uh, let me show you some slides here. We went to Dubai in UAE. And in the middle of desert, there is no plant. There is no trees. And this is camel, wild camel. And on top of sand, we uh, put these sheets over and we uh, took some seeds from Japan and started to grow tomatoes. And in desert, as you know, there is a strong sunshine, sunlight. So uh, some Oman people from neighboring countries came and uh, looked at this site. And they thought this was an interesting technology. So we can change uh, infertile, unfertile land into a fertile land. So what I'm interested in is uh, the affected areas is contaminated by the sludge oil, oil because of the tsunami and also because of the radi uh, radiation. So we can change that land or we can grow vegetables using this film on that, uh, in that affected area. Thank you very much for listening.